Buenos días, mi gente. ¿Cómo les hicieron hoy? So, I delete the light off today on purpose because I want you guys to see and compare how it is when it's a sunny day to a cloudy day like it is today. Let me turn on the light. Yep, it's a cloudy, cloudy day. <laughs> Anyways, así amanecía y mira, how's my hair? I don't think it's looking bad. It feels so hot. I think I needed that cut. I know, people, go to professionals. Go to go to professionals unless you have a brain like mine. And if you're in life, I yo yo. And you just do things out of look cool, then go ahead, try it out. But if not, go to professionals. They know what they're doing. They do. <laughs> Anywho. So today I wake up and I see a message on my WhatsApp. And it's my beautiful cousin in La Isla asking, like, we have a group family one. And she's like, who wakes up this early to eat empanadillas de chapin? And I'm over here like, what is that? What is chapin? I know what empanadillas are. Don't get me wrong. I'm not that, you know, bad. But I was like, what is that? Panadilla de chapin? What is a chapin? I had to literally look it up, Google it, find out what is chapin. Hmm. I think I've been out of the island too long. Talking about the island, I was dreaming last night again. What did I dream? I dreamed that I was, that I left to the island, that we went, my family and I, we all took a trip to the island. And then, when we were there, there was this person there, Libra Haven. So weird. And, you know, with his blonde hair, all like, you know, like if you like, and he's there, like, hi guys, so what are we gonna do? And I had, we had just arrived to the alley, just like, just arrived. And I think we went through Agu Aguadilla. And I was like, oh, I wanna see Culebra. I want to go to the to Culebra, and I don't know how we did it, but we went and we were we grabbed the boat that takes us to Culebra. There was this guy and said, okay, come on, let's go. So we all went, went to the island of Culebra, and I had had a dream like this before, and it's like a deja vu in a dream. I already had a dream, I went to that specific spot again, which I've never, like, I've gone to Culebra, but I haven't adventured to Culebra. Like, I went, got off the ferry, and got to the beach with a group of people, got on the ferry, and went home. But I've never adventured around the island. So we're there, and they take us, we take like a bus or something. Like a city, like there's a city, like a city kind of side, more buildings and stuff on one side. And then we ended up on the, um, by the beach and that's a place where I already have dreamed about I already seen that place in my mind in my dreams before and Havens was with us <laughs> and we're looking around and I could see like um things made in the island like with coconuts they were made some muñecos or something and with the bamboo I don't know it was I could see artifacts artifacts around but I could feel like I've been here. I've been here. And looking around and I see the same kind of like a wood. It, it looks like a like a cabin kind, but not cabin with like a hut or something. Like a tropical little cabin, like a tropical hut. I could see that again. And I could see over here in the sand like a pit of fire that had a fire pit. And I'm looking at the artifacts like this so close to my hand and I'm looking at them because there's one thing I love to buy is um, things that I could see the artist making and buying it from them directly. And I woke up and then my, I see this message from my cousin. I'm like, is my island calling me? 
I might have a more calling for my island. I know I've been wanting to go. I've been wanting to go for so long. And I haven't gone since last year. Which for some of you are like, that's nothing. Some of you have been gone out of the island longer. Let us know in the comments. How long has it been? When was the last time you've gone to the island? When I say the island, I mean Puerto Rico. When was the last time you were back home? And when I say home, like back to roots, back from where your family is from. When was the last time? And if you have ever been, some people have never been from where their roots come from. Let us know. Share it with us in the comments below. For me, it's been a, a year and that's a lot for me. I'm anxious to go. I have to see what I want to do. I need to figure out something to do. And one of those things I want to do is try to get like the views here. If I could get a thousand views and I could get monetized, that would be a help. That would be a help and that could help me with my um, travel things. Plus, what kills me, what kills me and rips a mid bear is renting a car. Because when I'm over there, I'm going to be a week or two. I'm going to be like, I'll be there like three to four weeks. You know how much it costs to rent a car for three or four weeks? I've done it before so many times and now I'm thinking I should buy myself a car I should buy myself a car I think it would be cheaper <laughs> than having to rent a car for three or four weeks because it ain't the, it ain't the same for a week or a days than for three or four weeks it's just not the same and I love renting cars I love renting cars why do i love renting cars because it's a, you pay the car yes you pay insurance you pay, you don't have to worry none of that if something happens to the car just take it back or make a police report or do what you gotta do and they take care of everything they give you another car that does not happen if you have your own car no i got a lot of things to think about i need a lot of planning and yeah, people, if you can at least get, help me, at least find a thousand, to get me to a thousand um, subscribers so that I could get, start getting monetized. Because I already got the hours, like the views, I already got that. What I need is the subscribers. <laughs> yeah. And it was my fault because I haven't been putting out content out there that is like, like I said, my content for now is more like relatable life. Like, not everybody is having a awesome, great time on in their life, and they're like, "Oh, what are you today? Well, today we're doing this." Is it? No, that's not my life, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you out there that could relate, and that's why I do these type of relatable um, videos. Plus, I hope that um, if I do go like to the island that'll be an adventure and a journey and oh, I see that so I think I'm having this morning too much so my way let's do see what we make for breakfast I'm gonna show you all my windows so you can see how cloudy and rainy it is let me wake up the kids and let's go on with the day okay mi gente here we are looking okay mi gente here we are looking out my window View for today. Okay, me had this. So to, I'm gonna put these avocados that I bought. I forgot, but if you've been following me, you know when I bought them. And I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator because they have a little bit of give, and I don't want to risk leaving them a day more. I already risked leaving them from yesterday to today to today. And if if I leave them a little longer on the table, they will ripen too fast, and then. I'm gonna lose them and I don't wanna lose them. I love my avocados and to think I didn't like avocados growing up, but now I love and enjoy them very much. Um, the time leaving them on the table to, the, to take them to the fridge will vary depending how the temperature it is in your place. 
you know if it's very hot they will ripen faster if it's chilly like it's been here they will ripen a little slower so this is something you need to touch every single day but don't squeeze them too hard that you're the one provoking them to feel soft to the touch no you know just softly softly you know and then when you feel a little give immediatamente to the fridge so i'm going to put them in the fridge right now Hoy es otro día that I woke up con hambre atroz. I don't know what's happening to me últimamente. I am not pregnant, but I've been levantándome con hambre atroz. I don't know if it's the rainy, cloudy, comfy kind of um, weather that's causing me to want to eat, you know, more. I don't know. Well, Anyways, aquí tengo arroz blanco, leftover arroz blanco, leftover vianda, leftover bacalao. Y entonces, before I put the avocados away, I was like, I'm going to take one of the avocados, cut it, and I put some of this Lori's lemon pepper on top. And I do have my Tabasco sauce here. I don't know if I'm going to um, add it onto it or not because, I don't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Like I said before, I don't mind eating leftovers. Do you? Mm. Mm. Oh, yummy. Hay que ahorrar gente y dejar de estar botando tanta comida. Mmm. Although, you do what you want, no? I miss it in my case. In my case, I want, that's what something I want to do. Ahorrar, dejar de botar tanta comida. Because there are plans I want to do, there's things I want to achieve. And, le gusta uno, no? It all takes money. Mm. So, I'll come in. Although, even if I think if I have, even if, um, if there wasn't a case of money, I still like eating leftovers. I always have. Mm. Mm. There are some foods that even taste better the next day. Get my hair. Don't talk about hair while you're eating food. No. Mm. So, this is my lunch. My stomach is, I could feel, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm so hungry, I could feel it. I could feel my stomach like, oh, no, no. Mm. You know? Last night's dream. I'm still carrying it right here. Sometimes there are dreams that you have them and then you carry them. That last night and yesterday's dream of the house. And they both were at the island. It's just kind of weird. Hmm. I'm just having like a tingly feeling like, mmm, it's trying to tell me something. I just can't pinpoint what it is. If anybody know about dreams, please let me know. Share it in the comments. Let, in, let us know what, what, what do you think it is. Share your knowledge. Share your knowledge with us. Because I know it needs something. I just... Have any of you go through that? That sometimes you have those dreams that you feel this like you can't you can't you can't just forget it. You just keep repeating and repeating, and you feel like something on you, like a feeling, and then something does happen because it happened to me so many times, but I never can pinpoint like what it is. It's like I can't interpret the dream. So if you know anything about dreams, let me know in the comments, please, and. Buen provecho, mi gente. Whatever you're eating for lunch. Nos vemos. Okay. 
So I have my two cups of water signing in. Those cups of water, my first in the day. And I forgot to tell you guys, I'm also going to have my leftover string beans from yesterday called vinagre. And for this one, I put a little bit of lemon. I do. A little bit of honey. I know that sounds weird. But I like the sweet and sour. Me gusta. Me gusta the sweet and sour. <laughs> so I put a lot of that vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and a little dab of honey. And... That's when I have this and my two cups of water. Pacan se me olvida. I already served it. Because if I serve it and I see it, I'll drink it. Sometimes. Sometimes I forget and I leave it there. But I'm going to have it by the plate so that I remember. Hola, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo se cuentan hoy? So today we're going to talk about green coffee. So I first heard about green coffee on the Dr. Oz show. And when it first came out, I tried it and it worked for me. What is it? Basically, what he said is you eat what you regularly eat and you lose weight. When I heard that, I was like, oh, yeah, I like that. I'm going to try it. I did try it. And like I said, it did work. But I wasn't consistent because that's the problem I have. Ugh, consistency. But here I am again and I'm going to try it again because it's I'm not consistent. What I really am, I do not give up. So, I got this one at Walgreens. It has a bonus. It's 60 tablets plus 40. That's 100 tablets in here. I got this for $9.99 on sale. I think the regular price is between $14 or $15.99, somewhere around that area. And there's a couple of things you should know before you get a green coffee because not all the green coffee medications or tablets or supplements, whatever this is, are not the same. First of all, it has to say green coffee bean extract, pure green coffee bean extract. This one is 100% green coffee, and it says it right here, extract. Another thing I should have at least is 800 milligrams. 800 milligrams, mi gente, 800 milligrams, and 45% chlorogenic acid. That's an important ingredient, chlorogenic acid, 45%. It doesn't have to be organic or anything of those fancy things, but it needs to have at least those three things is what he highlighted in his show. And that's why I got this one from Purely Inspired because it has all those things and then some, right? So, so on this particular one, it says directions. Take one serving, that's three easy to swallow tablets, two times a day, 30 to 60 minutes before your two largest meals. Do not snack between meals or before bed. For best results, use in conjunction with diet and exercise for 60 days. Read the entire label before and follow the directions provided. So yeah, you eat before your largest meals. So for me, the largest meals will be dinner. It's one and lunch if I eat lunch and if I eat breakfast I usually don't eat lunch so whatever I get if I eat breakfast maybe I'll eat it be at the, um, for breakfast if I eat lunch then I'll eat it at lunch time for me I know I'm complicated life on a yo-yo mi gente life on a yo-yo so we're gonna try this see how it goes out have any of you tried any of these green coffee which brand did you use did it work did it not work did it have all the highlights that i told you or not last time i did it i think i combined it with raspberry ketonet ketones ketones i'm looking over there because show you raspberry ketones this is not the brand i used either i got this on sale at walmart <laughs> and yeah but this is I don't know, maybe I'll combine it, maybe I won't. But we're gonna try this out. We're gonna see how it works, if it works. And I don't think I'm gonna weigh myself because I just had a big lunch. Yeah, I'm supposed to drink it before my lunch. I wonder if I could drink it now. Hmm. I'm already breaking the rules. You'll see, follow the instructions. Don't break the rules. And you'll maybe get better results than I do. 
So let's open the box. Let's check how it's inside. Yeah, this is. Wow. Okay. So here's nothing else. Here's the bottle. It has a, a protective seal, so if it doesn't have it, be aware. Okay, that's that's good. It has another seal. Good signs for me, right? Okay, it has you know the cotton. Let's take it out. Check them out. Let's see how they look. I'm gonna put them here on the. Here's how they look. Pretty big. Okay. I already have my lunch. I know, but I guess we'll start tomorrow. I'll start today, but I'll do it the way the instructors say tomorrow. Let's see how easy these are to swallow. Pretty easy. There you go. I think they were easy to swallow because of their oval, long shape, and that makes it easy just to go down the hatch so today is the day may 15th we started with the bean coffee green extract tomorrow i will weigh myself i think i should do it in the morning before anything have my green coffee and in the morning before i do anything i should weigh myself to get maybe a more accurate weight and then you know Wear something more lighter and see how it goes. What do you think? So let the experiment begin. Let's see if I achieve or fail this experiment. So are you with me? Vamos a ver. If not, tell me what you're trying. Let me know if you tried the green coffee extra. How did it go? And if you didn't, are you on board? Let's go. Let's do this. A ver. It's not for everybody. I know. Pero para lo que son, vamos a ver. Okay, mi gente, it's dinner time. What are you having for dinner? So I'm having some arroz con gandules, some avocado, and asparagus. No mestura hoy. <laughs> My honey was like, what's mestura? And I'm like, any kind of side of meat, I guess, or fish or meat substitute. No, just rice and vegetables. And I think we don't always have to have a side of some, you know, meat or something. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Mmm-hmm-hmm. -hmm. I love asparagus. How many of you love asparagus? So this asparagus, I got it at Dollar Tree. We have a store here called Dollar Tree and they sell everything for a dollar. So I got this asparagus and I drizzled some olive oil, some lemon pepper, and a little bit of salt. That's all. And just on a pan, just, you know, just let it, um, because it comes frozen, I just let it, you know, thaw out. Mm. Mm. I'm avocado, as you know, that I enjoy my avocado. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna add some. You guessed it! <laughs> Tabasco sauce. Just a little over here on this side. Mm. 
Mm. I enjoy my Tabasco sauce and my avocado. Mm. So, I am so grateful for this meal. I am so grateful to be sitting here and be able to record and share with you guys. Mm -hmm. I hope you at least try to keep up with uh, being grateful. And um, what are you having for dinner? Let us know in the comments below. And do you always, always have a side of like meat or fish or meat substitute? Or just some try this. Mmm. Mmm. I think That's how it also. I've never bought frozen asparagus. And I grew up eating the canned one because that was the one that my dad used to buy. I really liked it. I was like, hmm, I wonder how it's gonna taste warm because you need to, th you know, cook it to thaw it out. But it came out pretty good. Mm hmm. Mm. I haven't tried the fresh ones. Oh, someday. <laughs> Mm. Rico. Mm. So, I'm going to finish enjoying my dinner. Let me know in the comments below what are you having for dinner. And if you enjoy having a meal. You know, with no meat or meat substitute, just plain old um, rice and avocado. I, I I love avocados. I love avocados, and I love my Tabasco. So, buen provecho, y hasta la próxima. Okay, mi gente, I just had my dinner and I forgot. Before a six here, thirty to sixty minutes below. Before, but below. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work out because my eating habits are not scheduled, and I never know when I'm gonna eat, or what time, or what moment. So. See how this works out. Take one, three easy to swallow. Three easy to swallow tablets. Yep, three. So I'm doing good. And here are my two cups of water that we're trying to be drinking. I'll finish my water. You know, I'm ahorita. Bueno, mi gente, ya llegamos al final de la noche para mí. It's already, what time is it? Let me see. 10.27. La 10.27. So, I don't know, guys, but I like how my hair feels. I like how it looks. I don't know if this the conditioner or the cut. What do you guys think? Because I know it was looking very... La punta, although it still looks a little bit. Let me see. Se un poquito. Meh. But, yeah, I like, I like how it looks. I like how it feels. It feels so soft. Se mueve, se mueve. Me encanta. I love how it feels. It's so bouncy. It's so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, llegamos al final de la noche. Tengo sueño, me voy a acostar a dormir. Um, I 
hope you all had a, a great day. It's a chilly, rainy, cloudy day for us. Just when you think, I'm telling you, just when you think, uh, you know, it's going to be a nice warm weather outside. Ahí viene el frito y te mete una picosa en la cara. Pero, a continuar, les cojan mañana otro día. So, que tengan dulce sueño. Y nos vemos mañana. Bye.